Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Darius from DariusCooks.tv. Now, listen, when you are short on time but you want big flavor, ain't nothing wrong with a couple of supermarket shortcuts. And today I'm going to show you how to use those shortcuts in a fantastic, hassle-free recipe that you're going to love and will be on your table over and over and over again. And I'm smiling because it really is one of those things that's like super comforting and will be like a warm hug in a bowl. Trust me, all right? So to get started, I've got a leek, right? And so a leek is just like a big old green onion. And I wanna cut him down, right? And then just in sort of like half moons, I'm gonna give him a slice. All right. And leeks are super, super dirty as you can see. And I'm gonna put the leeks in the water, slosh them around, so all the dirt can fall to the bottom, leaving us nice, clean leeks. All right, I'm gonna add some olive oil to the bottom of this skillet, or this Dutch oven. And then in go all these clean leeks. <laughs> all right, we'll give this a stir. And we'll cook these until they're nice and uh, tender, almost translucent, just like you would uh, an onion. Speaking of, let's work on our chicken. So I just picked up a rotisserie chicken from the supermarket, right? I told you there was some things about supermarket shortcuts that are really, really good. This is one of my go-tos, right? All right, and then let's add this chicken in with the leeks so they can start to give off lots of really good flavor. So look at that, see how they're already starting to turn real nice and translucent and fragrant on us? The chicken goes in. Now let's give that a stir. To that, I got a mirepoix blend from the grocery store. This is gonna be onion, celery, and carrots. These are gonna go right in here as well and just start to release all their good flavor and juice and get acquainted with the chicken and the leeks. Starting to look good, right? I know, I know, I know. All right, if the pan gets a little dry like this is, I'm gonna add in a little bit more olive oil. Make sure everybody stays nice and Let's season this up. I've got some garlic and I've got some onion powder. In goes the dried fennel. In goes a little bit of Herb de Provence or Italian seasoning. And then in goes a little bit of chicken bouillon. Perfect. This gets a stir. It's lovely, right? All right, let's put a little flour in the bottom. Let's make a little bit of a roux. So I'm gonna put a little flour here. All right, and then we are going to stir the flour together, oh, three or four minutes or so, just to make sure all that sort of flour taste is cooked out completely. All right, had a chance to cook a little bit. Let's add in the water. And give it a stir as we add it in. It's gonna thicken and make a gravy really almost immediately. I'm gonna also add in some heavy cream. Got another little stir. This is it. Our filling is ready to go. It's nice and thick on us. This is exactly what it is we want to see. It smells good. Oh, look at all those flavors. Last thing I'm going to add in is just a couple of peas and carrots frozen. See, a little shortcut from the supermarket. Makes the world go around. Give that a stir. Right, this is our amazing pot pie filling. I'm just going to pour the filling into the casserole dish. Doesn't that look amazing? Looks so good, doesn't it? All right, let's top this with another supermarket shortcut. Buttermilk biscuits from the refrigerator, okay? Let's do a little bit of an egg wash so it can look nice and pretty on top. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take an egg, add a little bit of cream to it, and then give that a whisk. And then we're gonna use this to paint right over on top, all right. All right, I got a little bit of black pepper that I'm gonna put on top. All right, and then my oven is preheated, 350 degrees, and then this goes off, obviously, until everybody's nice and happy. Those biscuits are golden brown. Now, doesn't that look amazing? Look at that. So I could smell that chicken pot pie in the oven, and I know it's gonna be so good, and I could smell the buttermilk biscuits hanging out. So what I wanna do is I wanna get ready because I want something nice and green on top to really sort of pop through. So I've got some fresh parsley that I'm just gonna give a nice rough chop to. 
Because don't you also eat with your eyes? All right, let me get in here and get some of this biscuit. Because let me tell you, I never met a biscuit that I did not love. Look at how steaming hot that is, right? Come on now. It's perfect. I told you, it's like a warm hug in a bowl. And I did not exaggerate. The recipe, you know where it's going to be on the website. It's DariusCooks.tv. There's two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life is my food. Until next time, I got to wish you a happy cooking from my heart to yours. Bye, y'all. Mm. Yep.